Hi, welcome to another episode of the CE Tool Den. And on today's video, we're going to test and review the all new Milwaukee M18 half inch router. So let's get to it. Okay, this is the router. I bought this at Home Depot online. They had this as a, not as a kit, full kit. So this is the bare tool only. And it came for free. Well, not free, but as an extra instead of like the like the full kit that you get for like 599 this is the plunge attachment you can get the whole kit for 599 with the 6 amp hour battery and charger but i have too many batteries i don't need batteries i don't want batteries i really wanted the plunge base as well just to give it all the versatility i as i can get from the full size router um now let's get to the the nitty gritty here this is a half inch router but it also does a quarter inch it is model number 2838-20 and on the plunge router base it is 4810-2838 for the model number so from what i understand is the just the plunge base by itself might not be available, but it is available for pre-order. That's what I found weird is they were, this was able to ship in its own box. Um, even though, you know, when they said it comes as a bare tool, you can buy this bare tool, but you can't buy this. Like you can pre-order this on some of the um, other uh, tool dealers like Ohio Power Tool, Acme Tools, and so forth, Max Tool. And I think Home Depot has this on the website, but it's not available at this point in time. But I'm not sure. Because um, last time I checked, it wasn't available. So you can't but just buy this. The only way to get it is either in the full kit, the plunge base in the full kit, or in this version of a bare tool with the bare plunge base. Which is, I don't know why, why it's like that, but it is what it is. So for the plunge base itself, we're looking at two and a half inches for the plunge depth. Base diameter is six inches. The length of this is 12.8 inches. The width, six inches. Minimum height, 8.3 inches. Max height, 10.8 inches. It's got a 5.1 pound weight. Uh, six. It says six step death stop turret. Uh, it's got a depth rod with micro adjustment and it's got a depth scale and it's compatible with the brand new router. Um, as far as I know, this is not compatible with any other routers, but this is just the accessory itself. And now let's get to the router itself. This is a 2.25 peak horsepower type of router. It generates, but in battery battery form. It says best comfort and control. It says 225 linear feet per charge. And let me see if that's, I believe that's on a six amp hour battery. Pallet size, so it, on the packaging, it says collet size, so it comes with the half inch and the quarter inch collet. It is 12,000 to 25,000 RPM. Variable speed, yes. Dual LED light, yes. Base diameter, six inches. Fixed base travel, two inches. Length of tool with fixed base is 10.9 inches. The width with the fixed base is six inches. Height is 8.3 inches. All this is with the fixed base, fixed base by the way. The weight is 6.2 pounds, so this has a little heft to it, but it's supposed to because it is a full-size full size router. And it this stuff, it has to have what it does. I mean, it's, it's a fuel, so you know this is their top-of-the-line stuff. This is their brushless times two. And so now we're going to get to taking it out of the box and see how this performs first we'll take it do an unboxing um i'll take it out of the box and show you guys i'm not gonna do it on camera because 
it's going to take forever. All right. All right. Now that we have unboxed this, we can show you the full size router. It comes with the half inch collet installed, the fixed base installed. These two very nice oval molded rubbery grips, which is pretty awesome. And what I really like is this whole thing is a grip, you know, it's all rubberized and it's got like a strap. This is a Velcro strap. You can adjust it to however you want, depending on your hand. And you can hold it like this, like for safety's sake. Here is your micro, micro adjustment. This feels so solid, like it really feels good. It's, it's got also rubbery over here. So this is a very good feature what they did. Here is your variable speed. It goes from one to six. I do feel like this dial is kind of loose. loose. I mean, it's got like a positive stop. Like every like right there, right there, right there. It's got a positive stop, but I do feel like it's kind of loosey. Loosey goosey, but I mean it is what it is. And I like the the clamping feature on this thing. Pretty good. There's your up and down button. So you can adjust your fixed base how you want it with this, and then you can micro adjust with this knob. There's your this is where your battery goes. Overall, pretty awesome. Now, what came in this bare tool only was you got your wrenches to, to install your uh, router bits. Here's your quarter inch collet. There's a fixed plate right there. Even though this has one, this is probably for your, you know, for different types of routing. There's your regular fixed base. This is the one you're going to use for the most part. And this one is what you're going to use when you're using other types of adapters and bits. This is your man operator manual right here. So it's got some nice features over here. One thing I liked about this is it comes with a adapter for your vac and here is your dust port so you're going to attach this to the hose and i don't know oh it goes on this side i think yep so you use the so it'll it'll hold the hose will be held on really nicely on this thing so you hit this little switch and it lifts up the, the little locking tab when you slide in the, the dust port and it locks in and you just throw your vacuum in there and you're all set. You're good to go. So that's pretty good. And then it comes with an edge guide. Here's some more stuff. An edge guide with your rods, your edge guide lock. And that's pretty much it. Now the when it comes to the plunge base, that's the plunge base. Really beefy. This is nice and beefy. This is definitely solid. This is like this is a solid, nice type of steel. Re very nice, very well built. It also comes with the vac adapter attachment so now i have two so i have a backup it also comes with the the dust port which is great there's your manual so it it's got a lot of little different things to add for your edge guide and stop so it comes with this too. That's part of, uh, I believe that's for the edge guide. So you, you definitely get a nice setup over here. 
the fact that I got two of these and two of these, very nice. So now we're going to get testing. I probably going to use the quarter inch because I have a lot of quarter inch bits. So we're going to use the quarter inch collet. I'm going to switch off. So we'll be right back in a second. Okay, just before we do some testing, I want to show you a few more things on the the base the or the motor is. This is your lock for the for the bit changes. So this is your locking nut. That's your collet. I put the quarter inch in already. This is very well greased. This is where your two LED lights are at the bottom. So that's pretty cool how they incorporated the LED lights in here. It's really easy to to remove so you just make sure this is unclamped and you just push that button and just slide it out very easy the i believe the yep so this one has a, a clamp also on this version so this should this should be just as easy to install but we'll get to that after But as of right now, this is what it, the, the main part of the base looks like. The motor. It's got the Milwaukee etched on the metal and the steel. So it really is really nice. They did a good job in the construction design. All right. We're going to test this out first with a 3 8 round over bit. Quarter inch collet. We've got a fully charged 6 amp high output battery i have it to my desired depth but you can micro adjust it with this um before we get into that this thing i thought it was for the edge guide like a locking mechanism but it's for the dust shroud so but we're gonna test this out without the dust dust shroud in the back in the beginning just to see how much wood chips we get so we're gonna try we're gonna do one 3 8 round over. We're going to do a chamfer bit, but this isn't the best chamfer bit I have. But I like to use these for tests because it's a junky one. So I'm not scared. I'm not a, I don't want to put the, use the good stuff. So we'll use the junky stuff first and go from there. So we're going to be putting in a router bit. Um, I mean a 6 amp hour battery and we're going to go the round over and see how this works out. You got some dust out of there, but definitely a really nice 3 8 round over. Really nice. I really like that. So now we're going to test it. I got the uh, pack out vac ready to go. So we're going to test this with the pack out vac and the dust for with the uh, chamfer bit. And we're going to chamfer this side and go from there. Okay, now that we have that settled, um, when using your pack out vac, make sure you use this tip on your pack out vac. This, the one that's got the slant on it, instead of this one. These are the ones that come out with the pack out vac. Because the dust port attachment won't fit unless you tape it. You could tape it with this one, but with this one, the angled attachment, it sits in there nicely. So make sure you use that one. And now you wanna just lock it in by pushing down on this. And it should be locked in. Okay. 
now we're gonna go and install the batteries and turn the back on okay and get to stepping and we'll make the chance to cut Okay, it really did a really nice edge with the chamfer. So this is a quarter inch chamfer bit. It is very dusty. I mean, I did get a bit of dust over here on the work table, but some, some was pulled into the vacuum, but I don't think it was enough. As you can see, because dust was shooting everywhere, regardless. Um, but you got some dust collection, but not enough. But at, at the end of the day, is this router is super powerful. Okay, we're going to do a edge guide cut. So you use those longer rods for the edge guide, but it's also for using the edge guide with the dust collector so uh, here's the edge guide we're gonna use a standard bit we're gonna make a dado around the middle over here i have no doubt that it's gonna be really good this is probably like three eighths of an inch of a dado and let's see how this works with hold on let's make it a little shorter than that Light passes is always the way to go with these types of things. So we'll do like a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to turn the dust collector on. It's a nice clean cut. If I was doing this for real, I'd be definitely using the, uh, doing a much better job with this dado cut, but it really did an excellent job. I mean, you got a nice clean dado cut. I absolutely like it with a straight bit. So now we're gonna test out the plunge base and we're gonna go plunge in a small mortise somewhere in between here. All right, so stay tuned. All right, last but not least, we're gonna use the plunge base. Here's our plunging lever right here. And this is the lever you do to spring up. So when you need to plunge, you plunge down as far as you need to go. And then it locks in and then you hit the lever again. It should spring back up. So we're gonna be making a mortise cut i don't want to go too far down with this so 
we'll just move the lever right there. All right, I'm not putting the dust collection on this. So you got a better visual while we do this. So right now I, have, I still have it on high speed. And... Okay, we made a mortise, a mortise cut in there. As you can see, it's not perfect, but I just did it just for the sake of the review and the test. This thing's really powerful, and that's just a quarter inch bit. So it really did, it really is strong. It does a great job. And I definitely recommend this as a full time router. I mean, it says up to 225 feet of linear feet of routing with a 6.0 high output battery. I'm not, I'm not a fan, uh, too much of a fan of the, the dust collection because you get a lot of dust. <clears throat> As you saw in some of the tests we did. I mean, if there's a better way of doing this, dust collection wise, uh, put it down in the comments. But it's definitely very dusty. I'm not, not a fan about that, but overall, I give this two thumbs up because the power is unbelievable. This is definitely as powerful as any two and a quarter horsepower router. It's an excellent router. I love the plunge base. I like the fixed base and I like the attachments. There's also another guide attachment that you can attach to the, the track, the pack out track rail, the, uh, the track saw rail. So there's an attachment that you can use as a guide instead to make like dados or rabbits or whatever, rabbit cuts, whatever. But this is in a pretty awesome, awesome cordless full-size router. You know, these, these are the tools that really I love because, you know, all the woodworking that we do down here. Um, you know, the two most big, like, anticipated tools in the CE tool then were the Craftsman router and the Milwaukee router. You know, I did the shorts video a while back ago on, on that router and I was very, very happy with it. I love my Craftsman router. It's just a great overall, you know, system that they have here with the with the M18. It's a fuel fuel item, so you know that you're getting a quality, a good design. Absolutely love it. I recommend it, uh, but if there's a better way to get dust collection, let me know. Put it in the comments. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Let's get to the thousand subscriber mark. We're getting there. We're getting closer every day. So let's keep plugging away. Let's do that giveaway when we hit a thousand. And as always, have yourselves a good night.